Hi guys, welcome to the sixth part in this video series on brain fog programming. And at this part, we're going to have a look at how to manipulate brain fog programs' control flow on the example of implementing some variations of the if statements. So the very first uh, kind, uh, kind of sort of the if statement is if we write something like if x is not equal to zero. Uh, at this time, at this point, the x is the value of the current cell. So, uh, as you know, by default, in brain fog, uh, if the value of the cell under the uh, particular where the data pointer is pointing at, if the value of this cell is actually equals to zero, then the loop followed after is not ever to be executed. So, uh, bearing this in mind, uh, we'll see the uh, the very first if statement implementation. So, let's just uh, try to break the bring the debug symbol in order to see if uh, the code within the square brackets is executed or not. So, I'm sorry, just clear this from the previous unsuccessful attempt to record this video. So, and in this case uh, nothing is printed to the screen because the value of the cell where the data pointer is, pointed, is pointing to is now actually zero. So, you can see it right over here. The value of cell is zero. But as far as the value at this cell is going to be, say, three, then we are actually in the infinite loop. And this is known just from the previous video. So uh, the thing we have done in the previous video is we have actually decremented the value of the current cell each time in the loop. But this time the code within the square brackets is executed exactly for, no, exactly three times. So this is is over here. So it is executed actually three times. And in if we are talking about the if statement, that then the code over here has to be executed just once, not the three times or no matter how many, just once. So in order to achieve this we have to zero the value of the current cell. So in this case we have uh, this debug information printed only once. So this uh, hash debugging symbol it just like a the way to show that any code that would be in the place of this hash symbol would be executed only once. So that's the point. So say if here we would have any value, no matter how big is it, yeah, this uh, code is executed again only once. Well, I hope that's clear. So this is one of the easiest uh, cases of if statement implementation. And now, uh, what if we want uh, to implement the if x is equal actually to zero? So by default in brain fog, if you would have the cell with a value of zero, this code is not ever to be executed. So we need an extra variable, uh, which uh, would be uh, some sort of a zero flag to indicate if the current cell value is equal to zero, whether it is equal to zero or not. So in this case, uh, I'll just take it away for for now. In this case, uh, we will move well one cell to the right. Uh, just do not start. Just not to start at the very first cell. Uh, it's just a tradition in brain fog not to start at the first cell. And we call this variable zero flag. And please note that this is not actually a variable name, but just a command indicating what exactly is stored at this particular point of location. And the zero flag value is going to be 
1 and the next cell we are going to store the value of our x of our x which is to be compared with 0 and here we would be having some loop so uh, just to make the program exit naturally I'll put some minus here for a while so the first thing uh, we are about oh, maybe just forget about the loop so the very first thing is we have the cell 1 which stores the value of 0 flag and the value is 1 and the cell 2 which stores the value to compare with 0 which is now 5 and just to make it a bit more clear we can call this cell cell x a and what I do here is actually called uh, a memory mapping so when you are writing some complex brain brainfuck algorithms it's often uh, been quite useful to use some memory ma mappings and uh, sometimes you would even uh, have to take a pen and a piece of paper and uh, write it just in order to understand how the things are going to work but in the case of simple uh, programs like uh, this uh, little if statement implementation uh, we could have uh, do the memory mapping uh, like on the fly something like that this is just for easier understanding just just to remember what the cell uh, stores uh, what the value is has been stored in the particular cell okay and the logic behind uh, this piece of code implementation is very simple so if the value of cell x is not equal to 0 then the loop is going to be entered and the uh, and what we want to do in this loop we, we actually want to go back one cell so we are now at the 0 flag yeah then we want to decrement the 0 flag and then go back to the cell x which is the cell to compare with the zero and as far as the job is actually done we don't really need to execute this any more times and if we would ever execute this again that the value won't be actually zero it would be minus so the zero flag would fail to indicate whether the x is equal to zero or not so the second thing to do is after we have set the zero flag to zero and we can see it using the uh, hash symbol to print some debug information after we have to uh, zero the value of the cell we are comparing to zero of the cell x so now let's see the result and now we can see that the cell 1 is 1 it's over here then we go to the cell 2 and yeah we're just still in the cell oh, okay so here another uh, I'm sorry guys yeah it's not really easy to keep all the things in mind especially in brain fog so we had uh, the cell 1 or the 0 flag being set to 1 and if uh, the cell X is not actually equal to 0 then we enter this loop and in this loop we go back to the 0 flag and then we decrement it and then we see that the zero flag is now equal to zero yeah and now we go back to the cell x and we see that its value is now five and in order to not uh, influence the value of zero flag anymore for it is already for it already has the needed value that indicates that the cell x wasn't actually equal to zero and the so the last thing we have to do is zero the cell x so at this point we end up on the cell x and now we have to go back to the cell zero yeah so we now go back to the cell zero uh, oh i'm sorry sorry to, to the zero flag not to the cell zero it's probably cell one yeah, let's see yeah now we are at the cell one and the value at cell one is zero and now when we are actually at the cell zero we want to execute the loop 
and at the end of this loop we can just put the minus for the value of the zero flag well I'm a bit of out of time but nevertheless I'll continue for this is really important things to say uh, maybe just let me start another timer okay so we could have either use this construct to zero the zero flag but basically it's not necessarily needed for the value is only one so we can use just a single so we can we, we could have used just a single uh, minus decrement in the value of the zero flag here and that is needed to execute the code if x is equal to zero then the code to execute is over here so just to make this code being executed only once and let me just remove all other hash symbols bring in some debug information just in order to show you how this particular algorithm actually works so now nothing has been printed because the zero flag has been set to zero and just in order to show you this I'll put another symbol hash symbol here so we see that cell 1 which is the zero flag is now equal to zero that's why the condition is not true so that's why this loop is not executed but this happens only because the cell X has a value of non-zero at this case is the value of 5 but if here we would have actually the value of 0 at cell X that th then this loop that actually is used to uh, reset the zero flag is not ever to be entered so here the zero flag uh, is actually going to be just 1 as it was uh, as it was said at the beginning uh, at the beginning uh, just let me save it at the beginning of the program and as far as uh, the zero flag hasn't been changed then the point is that the code over here would be actually executed so now we have this cell number one is equal to one which just prints the value of the zero flag but doesn't really matter for now so what I want to say that as far as the cell X let me just show you the value of cell X either so as far as this cell X is the cell 2 as far as cell X is actually equal to 0 yeah so if X is equal to 0 then the code over here over here is executed but so we can see this cell 1 is equal to 1 but if we have at cell uh, X any value but 0 then in that case the code is not go this code is not ever to be executed because we have uh, uh, because we have this code executed that has zero the zero flag I'm sorry guys it's really tricky it's really not that not that hard to understand but it's really hard to talk especially English is not my native language and it's not that fluent I want it to be so in my minds uh, are a bit uh, messed up I, I don't know it's just not easy to say this I'm sorry okay so I hope it's clear how to implement the if X is equal to zero uh, conditional and the very last thing I'd like to show is actually uh, how to implement if X is equal to some constant and uh, because I'm far uh, because I'm out of time for a long time uh, let me just briefly explain this uh, it consists so implementation and an implementation of this particular piece of code consists basically of two parts so the first part we want to do is we just want to compare uh, X with a given value and the uh, what happens after is if uh, the result of the comparison of X and the current value if this comparison would actually result as zero then this zero would be stored in a cell like it was stored in the cell X and in this case so if here is zero so if X actually 
x minus 5 is equal to 0 then here would be 0 and this code is not going to be ever executed but in any other cases this uh, is not going to be 0 so the 0 flag would be 0 and after uh, the 0 flag has been 0 uh, this means that, that x is not actually equal to the given constant well so that's a kind of variation of uh, how you could uh, implement the uh, comparison of x and the given constant and also it would involve some copying of the data from the cell x to uh, to another cell so the one would be used to compare value and the other would be used to restore the value of original x and I also forget to say that the algorithms shown here actually uh, crushes the value of cell x and uh, actually initializes it to zero after the end of the if algorithm so in order in order to have the value of cell x uh, not being dropped you have to just before doing any uh, actions on it you have to first store the value of x somewhere else so just make a copy co make a copy uh, and probably perform these actions on a copy on a copy instead of uh, doing this on the original value but in a case you don't really care about the original value you definitely could have done this immediate immediately just like in this example well so i hope the logic behind the implementing the conditionals in brainfuck is quite pretty clear at this moment uh, and if it is so then what i wanted to achieve is actually being achieved this is it for this video series guys and uh, i'd like to have some feedback in the commentaries if you have something unclear about how to use these conditionals in brainfuck or if you have uh, if you are unclear about any other topics covered in this video series please let me know in the commentaries for the feedbacks are very important to me so this is it and have a good time see you